Hey everyone. Hey, I'm out here in Southern California and we get a nice, uh, you know, healthy amount of roll off our drives. We get maybe, I don't know, 10 or 12% added on to the carry after that. And so I'm able to, you know, with the harder ground, I'm able to get a little bit more distance. And, um, but what would I do if I didn't get that kind of roll? Let's say that I'm in Florida uh, and it's humid and ground is not as dry. It's, you know, maybe thicker a uh, grass and uh, or maybe I'm just playing after it rained. What would I do to adjust and still be able to hit my longest tee shots? Um, let's talk about it right after this. Hey again, this is Steve uh, from HitItLonger.com. Um, hey, I'm on a journey to hit longer, straighter tee shots. If you are as well, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button down below so you can get notification to the next time I release a new video. I like to concentrate on um, getting more distance and accuracy off the tee. And uh, I hope you'll come along and I hope I'll be able to help you with your tee shots too. So I'm getting a lot of comments. I'm getting a lot of feedback. Um, they're like, well, hey, you're hitting it so far just because you're getting so much roll, whatever. But here in Florida, or, you know, you fill in the blanks where you don't get as much roll, hey, you just wouldn't be able to hit it as far here. Um, there are some adjustments you can make um, to optimize your carry distance. Rather than optimizing for carry and roll, you can optimize for just carry alone. Um, maybe you're only getting five or 10 yards of roll, but you don't want to lose a whole ton of distance just because it's not rolling. So let's see what we can do to make up back up some of that distance we're losing with no ground uh, run out. Okay, so there's going to be three main adjustments that I'm going to make um, if I need to play for all carry uh, certain days or in certain locations. Okay, so the first one is I'm going to take a driver with a bit more loft and um, You know, maybe not even that uh, strong of a shaft um, I'm gonna you know, maybe um, a degree degree and a half extra So if you've got an adjustable driver, that's fantastic All you're gonna do is take out the tool before the round starts and you know adjust it maybe two or even three clicks um, over and that should cover you for this adjustment. Um, if you don't have an adjustable driver, well, it, it might be, and, and you're, you know, you're, you're only hitting it, let's say 225 out of 90 miles an hour, but you're hitting it good. Um, that's about 25 yards missing or so. Then um, you might want to consider going out and picking up um, a backup driver for when you are playing in those conditions. Um, if you normally play, let's say a, a nine, nine and a half, you might run out and get a 10 and a half. Um, and don't go overboard on the shaft flex. You can even come, feel like you come down a half a flex to get that potential for spinning a little bit higher. Keep the ball in the air longer. So the tool that you use is going to be your first adjustment. Okay, the second adjustment I'm going to make is going to be in my ball position. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know already that I advocate a much more aggressively forward position. I like to get this thing, you know, not on my instep like a lot of uh, books or other instructors might tell you, but I actually like to get the ball up at least to my big toe, and in some cases all the way to my little toe. Well, if we're gonna go for all carry, I recommend we even get it further than that. Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way to the pinky toe, the fourth toe, the fifth toe. That way, the club has even a longer chance to turn upwards and get some loft onto the shot.
So we are looking for, you know, normally I tell you, hey, try to get to uh, five degrees upwards. That's going to give you the greatest amount of distance. It'll also help a lot with the carry. But in this case, maybe you want to even go for a bit more like, I don't know, six, seven or eight is what I'm going to try to shoot for on these swings. Um, of course, the adjustment you will need to make when you're going for a higher angle of attack you're going to need a higher tee. Watch as I bottom out about 12 inches behind the ball. How high of a tee I would need. Otherwise, I would hit it very low on the club face and having a hard time catching it in the center of the face. Okay, the, the third adjustment that I'm going to make is, is going to be in response to and kind of synergistically with the ball position. Because the ball position is now going to be so far forward off of my stance, all things being equal, my club now at this point is going to start turning back around to the left as it strikes the ball. So my path will be outside in and I would tend to pull it towards the left rough if I'm hitting upward correctly. So I'm going to counter that simply by coming a little bit more from the inside out at it this way. So I'm going to make a little swing adjustment a couple more degrees to the right so that my path stays relatively neutral while my angle of attack increases. The benefit that this inside approach is going to give you as well it's also going to cause you to, your club to turn upwards even more so they kind of work together with each other um, in harmony okay so I'm looking at the trackman optimals chart uh, I'm looking for about 105 miles an hour that's what I'm going to attempt to swing at the moment and it looks like um, if I'm optimizing for carry I'm looking for a launch angle of 14 and a half degrees that's quite high for that speed uh, with an optimal spin rate of about 2,500 RPMs. And this should give me uh, around 265 carry or so at 105. And then whatever rollout we would get, we would take. Uh, might plug yeah, at your course. Um, but that makes it easier to come into the greens and hit balls in the fairway and stay. So there's advantages to no roll as well. Um, so again, 14 and a half degrees of launch. And um, I've got a little extra um, loft for the job here. Let's just see how it works. Okay, so I am going to got my extra loft. I'm going to play it way, way further up to my pinky toe. I'm going to turn my shoulders a little bit more tilted and closed as my adjustment, which will just allow me to swing from the inside a little bit more naturally. And let's just see. Okay, you've got the numbers coming up on the screen right here. Um, I'm looking at it myself. We had uh, quite a nice angle of attack there of 5.4 degrees, you'll see. And I was able to carry the ball. So let's just, um, you know, it, it's a pretty big drive, but it's, uh, it's got the normal amount of roll that I might have gotten here in Southern California, or let's say at a, you know, just a standard fairway, at least what TrackMan thinks one is. Um, but I did have a carry there of 285 yards at 106.7, so that's not bad at all. Uh, let's tack on five more yards of roll, just one bounce, and I'm at 290 still. So you can see there I was, I'm at uh, 14 and a half launch, and actually my spin rate was about 2100, so I was a little low, but my launch was a little high. So, um, you know, overall, I wasn't that far from the TrackMan's um, optimized numbers for carry, and. You know, that's a, that's a long way to carry at that speed. So you can see that it's possible 
to get back some of your missing distance that you might be losing from the conditions or wet conditions or uh, thicker conditions that you might be playing in. Um, but with these three ideas, we had uh, a little higher loft, a little softer shaft. You've got angle of attack increase by moving this way a little bit more, get it way up there, even further than I normally advocate. And then in order to get the path working a little bit into out, I'm gonna get a little bit more of a high draw type of setup like this, where I'm gonna maybe make my shoulders even a little bit on the closed side and a little extra tilt, which would put my head a little bit more back by my right foot. So I would have just a little bit more um, spine tilt as I go uh, into and out of impact. Um, go ahead and give those three ideas a try. Let me know with some feedback down in the comments if I was able to help you get a little bit more carry distance with these ideas. I hope so. I'm getting a lot of comments uh, on these and so hopefully you guys will check back in again and let me know if this stuff has helped. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice uh, a little bit more for my you know, the rainy season coming up and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. <music>